So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. Emotion at fever pitch and the players are ready. The ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. Italy braced for their anthem. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. And we're underway. Uh, ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. And it's Florenzi. Florenzi tries to switch the play. Whipped in. Good effort first time. Bellotti really had a decent track at that. It was a, a full-blooded effort. Towering header! He will be livid with himself. Hoists it forward. He's got options out wide. Gets the better of his man. Great challenge. Time to perfection. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. He has it out wide now. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. And here's Berardi. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Great leap! Oh, 
just couldn't turn it in. Now that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. It's come loose. This could it's Belotti. He's going off. Oh, real danger here. Steer it in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Nil nil still, and little doubt about which manager will be the happier right now. Spin up Sola. Florenzi, Florenzi with the crossfield ball. Bellotti. Italy have it back and they can go again. Spinazzola. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. He's through. Marco Verratti looks to clip it forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Uh, needed a better pass there. It has gone through to him. Chiesa. Chiesa decides to play it back. That is terrific skill. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. He gets past his man. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Has a hit! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Italy concede and find themselves unexpectedly behind. Marco Verratti, and back to base. Keeper sends it forward. Coming up to half-time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Spinazzola. Spinazzola drives it forward. Breaks on here. Right through the middle. And he heaves it forward. <laughs> B 
Ferrari. Romagnoli. Marco Verratti. And we've reached half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, at the moment, Peter, this smacks of an upset, but against more illustrious opponents, this is not a done deal. Half time will be welcomed for very different reasons. Leading 1 0 at the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Marco Verratti. Ferrari. Spinazzola. Romagnoli. Marco Verratti, Romagnoli, Florenzi, Florenzi switches it towards the other side. Still just a single goal between the sides. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. It's got through. Forward it goes. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. And it's Pelotti. Gets it back. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Side. Italy are definitely going about this the right way. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Spinazzola. Marco Verratti. And it's played forward. Just brushed off the ball there. It's a throw in. Hoists it forward, dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. Marco Verratti, Spinazzola, Romagnoli, Romagnoli plays it forward, dinks one in. Italy are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And he's cut it out. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they?
This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Florenzi. A famous win, all but confirmed. They just need to hold on for a few more minutes. It's found its way to... Shot a goal! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Spinazzola. Marco Verratti. And it's played forward. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Oh, that's the way to launch the campaign. And they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. That would sum up what we've witnessed, Jim. Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win. And they're saying to the rest of the group, we're in